up my Scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys so glad you guys clicked on this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna grab you some random messages Scorpio this this reading is for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising wherever you have it in your bird chart okay this is gonna be a love reading I've been doing so many intense readings on um you know, Scorpio's ascension, Scorpio coming out of this funk we've been in for years, you know, pouring into other people's careers, pouring into um, other people's lives and businesses. Oh, somebody asked me in, my, um, in one of my videos, how long are my dreadlocks? So when I stretch my arms out as far as I can, I still have dreadlocks left, so if anybody was wondering, whoever that was in my comment section, they're this, they're, I'm sitting on them. All right, just a little side note. So your first card out, Scorpio, is no more losses. I can't make this shit up. I said this is a love reading, but I don't know where it's gonna go. Your next one out is multiple lovers. And your last one out is, it's time to be healed. Wow, Scorpio. And I'm shuffling the hell out of these cards, Scorpio, because <laughs> to me, it's almost like a dream. You know what I'm saying? Because even though now sitting here, it seems like a no-brainer, right? Stop helping people and pouring all your resources and time into other people instead of yourself now sitting here it's like it's so stupid or we feel stupid that we did but really it was not wasted time it was not wasted effort i feel like it was something we needed to go through because i feel like if we would have if we had never went through that as long as we did scorpio i don't feel like we would have snapped out of that shit right i i just feel like it's time for it. it's time to snap out of the shit it's time to renew yourself it's time to replenish yourself. And I really, I, I mean, I know we say that a lot when we're reading tarot, but I'm just like, I'm keeping it 100 for real, Scorpio. Like, I just keep wanting to say, job well done. Like, you just keep on doing it. Every reading I read, here you are. Showing up in your power, showing up in your strength. Saying what you mean, mean what, meaning what you say, walking the walk, talking the talk. I mean, just everything lining up. And that's what people can't understand. Well, there's no more losses for Scorpio. No more L's. Mm -mm, that's all with. It's time to be healed. We're not healing anymore. We, we're healed. ED. All that we need, we need, to, we need to be healing right now. No, Scorpio not healing no more. We evolving. We ascending, so we're we're everything we're doing now has a D on the end. That's over with. That's done. That's done. Done. We on to some more shit. Yeah, your first card out is glamour, cause the glow up real. The glow up is so real. And, and Scorpio, my thing is, contrary to what people think about us, we never we, we we're not the kind of souls that sit in the mirror and you know we. Oh, I can get who I want. I'm, I'm just, no, I'm that bitch. No, we're not like that. Contrary to what people know, Scorpios are the most, um, what's the word I want to use? I don't want to say insecure, but like we're, we're real like critical of ourselves more so. If you think we're more critical to other people or about other people, we're... We're more hard on ourselves than anybody. So when people get to talking about, you know, yeah, the glamour and how they look, that's a, no. It's so much more to us than that, I promise you. Sovereignty. Let's talk about sovereignty. Okay, I know y'all want to stay on that glamour shit because that's what y'all picked us. Let's talk about sovereignty. Let's talk about a Scorpio that actually feels for other people, who heart pours out to other people. Who not only um, talk about helping you, but we do help. You feel what I'm saying? That's what type of people. We show up, people. That's what a Scorpio are. We show up. Your best friend call you and tell you it's somebody, a bitch out there trying to jump up. You on your way. House shoes and all. You jumping out the car still running. 
it's still going down the road. That's what that's that's who we are. That's who we used to be. We're not that anymore. We're sovereign, but we're sovereign about ourselves, about our soul, about our heart, about our spirituality. We, that's what we're. Everything that Scorpio is doing right now, it's about us. Awareness. We are aware how you guys feel. Cross watches. I'm talking to you. We're not healing anymore, though. We're healed. So. If you're, if you're looking for that band-aid, don't come to Scorpio. You might have to go to Sag or Leo or somebody else like that. We, we, we don't have time anymore. Right now, we're not even in the helping state of mind. Right now, Scorpios are in the state of mind of let's get it. Let's go. See what I'm saying? Your overall energy determination. I can't make this shit up. We are determined to be the best vessels we can be for ourselves. I'm going to say that again. We're being the best vessels we can be for ourselves. We're being a beacon of light for ourselves. We're lighting the way for ourselves. We're staying on path for ourselves. We're using our money for ourselves. I don't know what part of that y'all don't get. So, multiple lovers. Let's talk about that. So... This is supposed to be a love read. Let me let me say this. Whether you a Scorpio that was involved, somebody had you in a third party situation, or you were the Scorpio that had somebody else in a third party, fourth party situation, that's that that was that was our low vibrational self. But see, I know when you start wanting to straighten up and clean your act up, that's what the that that's that's what them demonic spirits do. They they throw shit up from your past. They try to make you feel like you're not worth where you're coming from to go where you're going. Nah, this 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 old shit. If if this was a part of somebody's life with the with the three parties, multiple lovers, cause Scorpio's like one lover, one. And we may not be, you know, we might be, uh, how they say it. Too much for one, but not enough for two. It's that type of situation with Scorpio. We're not trying to compound. Can you imagine having 10 motherfuckers jumping out your bushes? Stalking your social media, stalking your phone. We don't deal like that. We don't have the capacity to deal like that. First of all, whoever you coming in contact with as far as love concerned, they're not gonna let you, they're not gonna let you. <laughs> Scorpio, you know what I'm talking about. They're not going to let you get that far out there like that for you to even be able to. They want to smother you. They want to keep you. They know what an asset they got. They just won't tell you that. They be with the fuck shit. But now they can they can stay with that because we're not with it anymore. We know what's real and we know what ain't. We, we already knew that when we was going through the shit. But see, like I told y'all in another video, and we getting into the terrors. I'm just sorry. We'll sit on the side of the bed and fall out of love with your ass. And then we gone and you like, what the hell happened? See, they go to lover's card. I feel like somebody very, very stable is coming into your life, um, Scorpio. But I believe this is somebody with the energy of the new Scorpio. This is not, this is not, I don't feel like you're attracting any of those people that are from back in your time when you were vibrating low. And even at lo at lower vibrations, I feel like Scorpios still attract like decent people, right? But I feel like now that you're vibrating high, I feel like you just you're meeting phenomenal people. And I and I, and with this multiple lovers, I don't know. <sighs> Shit, if you single, what? You evolving, Scorpio. Period. You 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 moving up in every part of your in every part of your life the the knight of coins in reverse so i feel like when it comes to this area as far as love is concerned i feel like you're not there yet you're not as grounded as you want to be scorpio i feel like too you don't really know how to go about this with your new self right because when you when you're talking about love that's being a part of something you see how these two people hugging and they close and they connected this is contractual. This is two people that have been intimate with each other, okay? I just feel like, I feel like, Scorpio, you in a place where intimacy is something that you're learning about now with yourself. You're learning how to 
what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to misquote us because it, it was so powerful about so many things. Like, I don't want to downplay it, but I feel like you're just not ready right now for love, if that makes sense. If, if, if this is a Scorpio that's not already attached, if this is a single Scorpio, I just feel like right now you're not ready to process a lover right now. Even though they showing up. But I feel like you might be playing a little bit. You might be dating. Why not? You single. But I just feel like that committed relationship. You committed to yourself. Now, yeah, see the page of coins. I just feel like a lot of people coming towards you. Could be people that's younger than you, okay? Or more influential than you, I just heard. Um, And although I feel like these are not people that you would normally pair with as far as like a life a lifetime partner i feel like you're just having fun i feel like it's just good fun but i feel like love is not your focus right now your focus is your money your focus is your glow up getting your self-care done making sure you stay relevant in whatever it is you're doing scorpio you you're not concerned with all the outside shit yeah see the hangman you are actually seeing things at every angle. You know what the fuck is going on, Scorpio. You know, you see it coming from a mile. You're counteracting things. You're more proactive now than you are reactive. Because you used to come from a, a reactive standpoint, right? Something happened and boom, you react. No, no, no. Now you, 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 you project. Okay, you... You looking at this shit from every angle. You you almost calculate everything that could happen and you head it off. Period. You you're not letting this in your life to destroy you. The Knight of Swords in reverse. You're taking your time. Look how long it took you to get in this mess, Scorpio. That's what I hear you telling yourself. Look how long it took me um to realize that I was going nowhere fucking fast. So now I'm just gonna take my time on me. I'm gonna take my time period. If you don't like it, I don't care. Because I feel like a lot of people, yeah, the emperor. I feel like a lot of people know you're stable right now. They know your money is good. They know that you've leveled up. So I feel like a lot of people are coming out of the woodwork, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of them are young too because I feel like you are aging timelessly, whoever this is. You might be 30 years old, but you look like you like 22. And I feel like that's why you are drawing, drawing all this younger um, energy towards you, okay? And these people are for real. So, Scorpio, I, I really I really caution you to let people know that you're being lighthearted right now, that you're really not looking for love, that you're just looking for a good time. You're trying to do other things in your life that don't include being partnered up with somebody, like, permanently, okay? Because if you don't, we're going to get that fatal attraction shit. And you still might get a Scorpio. It's just something about a Scorpio. It's like people never let you go. It's a never-ending story. Like your exes, it's like they always wonder where you at, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. It's just crazy. So be honest, Scorpio, with these people that you're playing with. Because it looks like, yeah, see the King of Cups in reverse. You have no... Your emotions right now are not... You're not emotional anymore, period. I feel like, too, you, you coming from this standpoint because... You don't know how to love and not love and, you know, turn it on and turn it off. I don't feel like you there yet, Scorpio. So you just, you just playing it safe. Like you cutting all the love off. You like, until I can handle this shit, until I know how to maneuver through love, because love is what brought me to this point where I, where I'm, I'm selfless now, where I'm, I'm selfish now, where I'm self loving myself now, where I'm self reflecting now. So love to me right now. I feel like it's not it's not even important. I just feel like, you know, you dating and meeting people and having sex, if that's what you want to do, protect the sex, and you'll know when you're ready for love. Any more messages for Scorpio and love? The tower. Like I said, you'll know. You're going to meet that one person that's, that's just like knock you off your feet. They're going to have all the right things coming towards you. They're going to they're gonna be the right age, the right color, the right conversation, the right intellect. This person is going to match your fly. Totally. The two of coins in reverse. This person will be somebody you won't juggle. You'll probably spend the rest of your life with this person, Scorpio. The nine of cups. The knight of wands. 
and the tree of life. And what's this other one? one behind that. And the sun. Scorpio. No matter what you choose or whoever you choose, what you choose is to be happy. What you choose is to have your finances stable. What you choose is to have a life tailor-made for you without outside disturbances, without outside uh, rhetoric. You don't give a fuck about what nobody else thinks no more. You see how much that costs you. So now, come on, the sun, the tree of life, the nine of cups and the knight of wands, all your, all your dreams, wishes, life is coming true. For some of you guys, even with the tree of life, you could be creating something new. You could be creating bones, as my grandma said. You could be having a baby soon. It's just, it just depends on where you're at in this walk, Scorpio. Where are you at in this walk? Because some people, I feel like you just started to ascend. You just started to realize what you actually need to do. Some people, I feel like you've, you're on the path now. you like, you gain momentum. You see this ending. So you know, so you're running now. With the Knight of Wands here, you're action driven. You're moving forward in this. You're not you're not backtracking, backstepping. You don't you anything energetically. You're moving towards this. No negativity. No no nothing from your past. You detach from your past. You know there's nothing left for you in your past, Scorpio. Not a damn thing. Everything everything that has to do with Scorpios, the evolved Scorpios. And the ascending Scorpio, the Phoenix rising, everything is ahead of you. You know that. And you also know you have everything you need to forge ahead. All you got to do is keep the bullshit out your life. All you need to do is worry about what you need and what you want to have. That's it. You, 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 you. Victory, 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 victory. I don't know how many times I can say it. Victory and love. When you're ready for love, it's coming. The lover's card already here. That's source saying, okay, just let us know. The tower card showed up because it's going to be abrupt change. When you meet this person, something's going to happen for the good. But it's going to be all of a sudden. It's going to knock you off your feet now. It's going to knock you off your feet, Scorpio. And your overall energy, the page of cups. You're coming towards love now very slowly. Or this is somebody young coming towards you with a small offer. Okay, Scorpio? Somebody who just wants to date and have fun like you. Because I feel like you're not really concerned right now with love i feel like you're more concerned with getting your shit together all right scorpio if you're still with me hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my matoki squad mm -hmm. i love you from the moon and back or to the moon and back however they say it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye